Blog Talk Radio. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Peace, health, peace, health, and love to you, to you all. Thank you, thank you. Peace, health, and love. I welcome everyone here listening to the show. Um, if you are listening right now over the net, the guest call in number is area code 646-787-1914, 646-787-1914. And also I will pull, pull up, pull up, the chat in case anyone has any anything to say um thank you all for tuning in i have just been on just been on here on different shows just spreading this word spreading this word um ladies and gentlemen and um i just thank you all for tuning in and i really 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 appreciate Everyone, I really, really do. Um, this is called the push for peace in the Middle East. Push the push for peace in the Middle East. And I've done a show here on my other show here, Life Visions. And yes, this is all. This is the health show. But yes, everything pieces is health and everything else. So. Just just listen in, share the show, and welcome, welcome, welcome. But I, I have to bring you this show. I, If you, you've been following my ministry, I have to let you know what's going on out here in the media. And um, I'm not telling you yay or nay, but I want to let you know what's going on out here. And the Trump administration's plan is finished, is finished. But it's not signed. So what does this mean for Christians listening as I discuss this plan? Um, I'm included in my description um, a video here um, where I, I've gotten my resources from, um, an article. So I just want you, I got some other links and so forth. I want you to tune in and follow me every Tuesday and Thursday um, on the Sister G Loves God show. I have a link down there for that, my email address for any questions, comments, or anything. And also um, the chat is up, and I will check that before I get off. And also, again, that guest call-in number is 646, area code 646-787-1914. 646-787-1914. Okay, let's, let's, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to pull up this article, and I'm going to read this article um, for you from Fox News. And the title of this says, Trump Administration's Middle East Peace Plan Finished, Officials Say. And I'm going to just start off reading it, and we're going to do some discussion. Okay. The Trump Administration's Middle East Peace Plan is finished, and President Trump has been briefed on its contents. Two senior administration officials told Fox News on Sunday. The final draft of the administration's deal of the century is 175 to 200 pages long, and fewer than five people have access to the complete document, sources told Fox News. The plan is done. The president is happy with the parameters of the deal, a senior administration official said. Okay, reading along, let me scroll down here. Um, Trump was briefed by U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman, Senior Advisor Jared Kushner. And um, Jared Kushner is Senior Advisor. He is the President's son-in-law. Okay, let me start again. Trump was briefed by U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman, Senior Advisor Jared Kushner and Special Envoy for Middle East Peace. 
Okay, we have on this page a commercial, so let me turn that down. Okay. All right. Again, okay. For Middle East Peace, Jason Greenblatt, multiple times on the specifics of the deal, Fox News is told. Okay. Trump was briefed. Again, I'll I'll just do that one more time. Trump was briefed by U.S. Ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, Senior Advisor Jared Kushner, and Special Envoy for Middle East Peace, Peace, Jason Greenblatt, multiple times on the specifics of the deal. Fox News is told. Officials said that the plan is unlikely to be released before the upcoming Israeli elections on April 9th. We are not going to do anything. Um, hold on one second. Um, it's skipping up a little bit here. And um, I do have that link um, on Blog Talk Radio here. Um, it's taking a little time here. Hold on one second. Okay, officials said that the plan is unlikely to be released before upcoming Israeli elections on April 9th. We are not going to do anything that threatens Israel's security, a senior administration official said. Kushner is set to visit Warsaw, Poland later this week to attend a summit hosted by the United States and Poland to discuss regional Issues regarding the Middle East, including Israeli Palestinian peace. Okay, I'm going to scroll up here. It's a lot of video on this page as well, so it's a lot going on here. So it's it's a little slow here. Okay, officials said Kushner's meeting in Warsaw represents a significant opportunity for the administration to remind regional partners that peace between Israelis and Palestinians could strengthen U.S. efforts to counter Iranian influence in the Middle East. At the end of the month, Kushner is expected to travel with Greenblatt to five Gulf countries to discuss the specifics of the Trump administration's Israeli-Palestinian peace deal with regional leaders as he tries to garner more support for the plan. Administration officials have said Trump is hopeful about the plan's ability to move forward. We have been given a different set of circumstances, a senior administration official said. Okay, okay. What is all this going on, all this going on? It's a peaceful push. There's a a push uh, for peace in the Middle East, okay? We know that um, this plan, 175 to 200 pages, has been drawn up, but it is not signed. Um. They're going around now, um, Jared Kushner and everything, going to Poland and so forth, five different places, um, to get support for this plan, to get support for this plan. And once everything is in agreement, then it, everything is going to be signed. We know that, that things are going on over there um, in, in Jerusalem, Israel. Everything's going on back and forth um, with the pa- Palestinians, and everything is just so much going on over there in Palestine. And so um, there are some officials over there, Arab officials and so forth, they're not – for it, they're, they're, you know, they're kind of against the president saying he's taking sides and everything with Israel. So um, there are um, officials over there in Palestine that are against the peace agreement. They're not, they're not, um, they're not all the way saying, okay, okay. So there's a bit of opposition over there. So this is what's going on. And once everything is 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 okay, then that's when it can be signed off. But it is completed, but it is not signed off. Now, what would this mean for for the people over there? Well, um, first of all, it's going the people that that um, 
are living over there now, the 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 is the, the people from Israel that are living in Palestine, they'll they'll be able to stay over there in Palestine. Um um it will create a Palestine state, a state for Palestine, um a place for the, the Temple Mount under a sharing agreement. So it's gonna allow Israel to build um their, their temple on the Temple Mount. So a lot of things um, with this agreement, and it said that Gaza is over there. It would help them with jobs and everything, and it, it said they they say that Gaza is over there with about, I think, about four hours of electricity for the day. So they said that the president um, may offer them or is going to offer them or has plans to offer them electricity 24 hours a day. So a lot of things, a lot of things there um that have to be discussed um with the plan and and I gave you a link down there Pastor Urban Baxter um um from his ministry and everything I want you to check out um his video and it goes into more detail and and check out this article I've just read I again I gave you these links I want you to check this out now, what does this mean? What does this mean for us, sisters and brothers, and and everything? What does it mean? Well, it said, it said, according to Pastor Urban Baxter, um, from his ministry, it, it says that the world will enter the final seven years of Armageddon, and secondly, Jesus will be coming back to the earth. So. This plan here it is said through prophecy that the final seven years would start of Armageddon. And this is this is the video you can check it out, Pastor Irvine Urban Baxter from End Time Ministries. Check it out. And this is the news that I need to bring to you. This is the news that I want you to stay abreast. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Um, I'm not saying yay or nay, but a lot of um, 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 churches, the bigger churches, they don't want to bring these things out. But I think that we need to know that, yes, we are in the book of Revelation. Yes, we are in the end times. But exactly what's happening, what's going on out here in Israel, what's going on in the world? And how can we tie that in and see exactly the things that 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 is going on? We need to get ready, be ready, stay ready. And so right now I want you to turn your Bibles, so if you have your Bibles or just listen in to, to the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5. And see, first of all, you have to know or think, is this scriptural? What's going on? Where are we today? How does this tie in? And, and why should I listen to these things? Or what are, we are supposed to pray for our leaders. We are supposed to pray. We are supposed to know what's going on in the world. You know, and and like I say, we, we a lot of us, we just, if you are connected to my ministry, it is my duty to tell you, to let you know what's going on. Do your diligent research and everything, but I bring it to you. Now, the book of of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, um, starting with verse 2, I'm going to read. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, they should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an an helmet the hope of salvation. 
For God have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 